Okay, so um, this didn't come out that bad. All right, it's all right. All right, y'all, so I'm starting out with dirty hair that was clearly in a bun all week. And now I'm just whipping my hair, shaking it. I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm taking my fingers and I am gently massaging my scalp. Got some hair clips and now I'm starting to section my hair. So basically, I just do two whole big sections by putting my hair in half and then I do about three braids. So I do two in the front and then for the last braid, instead of braiding it all the way, I twist it as if I were to do a bantu knot and then I clip it. That way it's easier for washing. I then do the same exact thing on the other side, again with the last braid being twisted up and clipped. I'm looking like the girl from Polar Express. Moving on to the whole washing process. I really just don't like washing my hair in the shower. To me, it just, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like it. So I just wash it separately. So here I am just lathering my hair and after each section of shampoo, I take my time and braid it up. And by the way, this is the shampoo that I'm using, Cream of Nature. Come on now and sponsor your girl. Come sponsor me. Anyway, so here I am going with my second go around. Okay, I usually do two shampoos before I move on to the conditioner. And for the conditioner that I'm using today is the Hello Hydration. And that's when I pull out my comb and start to detangle my hair. And after that, I put them in Bantu knots and then I just pretty much let the conditioner stay in for about 10 minutes those. 10 minutes and then after i rinse and i use a texture id protein conditioner kind of like a deep conditioner and um, i do this more so after doing a protective styling and i tend to have that be my go-to deep conditioner until i see that my hair has fully regained or regained the strength and is not shedding as much so here I am just taking my time with the deep conditioner and going through each section. But I'm telling y'all, okay, this conditioner, that Texture ID Protein Deep Conditioner, it is off the chain, okay? And it's only $7.99 for a whole tub. It's only $7.99 and it's actually really good quality. So I definitely recommend Especially if you see any shedding in your hair, if you're high porosity, you know, etc., etc. So now I'm just taking my time to, you know, make sure it's all the way in there. And yeah, I'm so excited because I'm almost done. <laughs> and I used about like almost the whole thing. But yeah, good price. So now I'm taking my hot head. I bought this like a good old four years ago. Basically it's a great alternative um, to using a hood dryer. I just put it in the microwave for about a minute and 30 seconds, basically 30 second intervals. And you just shake up the flax seeds that's in the hot head and then you put it on top of your head. So here I am giving a quick overview of my hair before I put on the hot head. I put my hair in bantu knots per usual and I just get a big old plastic bag. So any plastic bag will do. And then I put on the hot head. Um, I leave it in for about 30 minutes and then this is me taking my hair out just to make sure I get out whatever heat that was trapped in my hair. Again, it's a great alternative instead of sitting under a, a hood dryer because I ain't got the time. I am all rinsed and now I'm using my leave-in conditioner and I'm taking my time to make sure I detangle my hair and doing several passes just to make sure it's properly detangled. Mm. 
and I'm just going again and doing the same thing on the other side. I like to use not too much, um, especially because I tend to have a heavy hand when I use product throughout the middle of the week. When I am done, I go ahead and take the time to braid it down. I don't know why I'm making them faces. It don't hurt. Now I'm all done and I'm over here looking like Travis Scott. Okay. I'm the highest in the room. But yeah, let me stop. So yeah, it's basically just four braids on each side. Not even. I'm just... Whatever, I'm going to sleep. It don't matter. It don't matter. All right, it's the next day and I already started blow drying. Um, when I blow dry, my whole goal is just to stretch it out. It's not to be super straight or super whatever. It's just for me to stretch it out. And yeah, your girl is clearly in need of a trim. So please, natural community, do not come after me. Do not come after me. I know I need to trim my hair. Yes. But anyway, um, I had did half of my head and so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how I blow dry. And I bantu knot instead of putting it in a braid after blow drying because I feel like the bantu knot stretches the hair out a lot more. So especially because my hair just loves to shrink. So this is what I'm working with, and of course I'm using a heat protectant, Garnier, Garnier, oh, you know, gotta sound French. Anyway, so I spread throughout my hair, and I comb it out, and then after that I go in with my blow dryer. So basically my routine with blow drying is just holding the hair taut with my hand and just taking the blow dryer and just putting it over my hair until it's nice and stretched out to my liking. Again, I'm just kind of demonstrating what I'm doing and again, after each section, I bantu knot because it stretches out more than a braid. Like a whole hour later, I'm finally done. But does anybody have gray hair? Like, I can't be the only young one with gray hair. Come on now, somebody, please. So I'm over here trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair because I have to go somewhere and I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> so I'm just over here trying to um, figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. And then, of course, Bantu Knot it is. I promise you, Bantu Knots, they're here to save the day. They're here to save the day. So I'm just quickly doing some Bantu Knots because I legit have to go somewhere in like an hour. And so I did a couple of Bantu Knots and then I reached in for my oil. No, I mean, I know it says main choice, but it's some olive oil. That's what it is. I just put some olive oil in it and then I put it throughout my scalp. so really it was about 30 minutes later as you know i ain't had time to put no lashes on or anything anyway so now i'm taking down my hair and you know it came out pretty cute for 30 minutes so i'm um, just looking at it further kind of slightly fluffing it out so yeah this is what i'm Rocking with. Most likely, I'm gonna put this up because y'all know. So, thank you so much for watching me during the process of washing my hair, blow drying my hair, styling my hair. Um, if you want to see more natural hair video related content, definitely don't be afraid to let me know. So comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.